Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To insert a chart directly into a PowerPoint slide, click the Chart button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, to add a chart to a slide content placeholder in PowerPoint, click the Insert Chart button in the Slide Content placeholder. Performing either action then opens the Insert Chart dialog box. To select the type of chart to insert, click a chart type at the left side of the Insert Chart dialog box. The selected chart types subtypes then appear in a list at the top of the pane to the right. Click to select the specific type of chart subtype to insert from this list. Your selected chart subtype then appears below this list. Finally, click the OK button to insert the selected chart into the slide and show the chart source data in an Excel worksheet. Next, enter the data to chart into the Excel worksheet. If desired, to instead edit the Excel chart data directly in Excel, click the Edit Data in Microsoft Excel button in the title bar of the Excel worksheet window. If desired, you can easily copy data to chart from an external Excel workbook and then paste it into either Excel workbook in PowerPoint. After entering the chart's data, then close the Excel worksheet by clicking the X button in its upper right corner. Your chart and its data then appears in your slide. When you select a chart in a PowerPoint slide, PowerPoint shows the Chart Design and Format contextual tabs in the ribbon. You can use the buttons in the button groups on these contextual tabs to edit and format the chart and its chart elements just as you would in Excel. If needed, to edit the chart's data again, select the chart. Then click the Edit Data drop-down button in the Data button group on the Chart Design contextual tab of the ribbon. Then select either the Edit Data command to edit the data in the Excel worksheet in PowerPoint, or the Edit Data in Excel command to edit the chart's data directly in Excel. After making your changes, then close the workbook again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.